positive vibes only positive vibes only in this channel we always tell you about that and i want to start by thanking our subscribers our returning subscribers our new subscribers who are new with us we salute you we thank you so 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 much and we appreciate you the keyboard reactors the people who are liking the videos we really appreciate you you are doing a great job and we are really happy about you and i always tell you guys we pray for you very very seriously that may the lord bless you may the lord enlarge you may the lord shield you may the lord protect you together with your family we don't take it for granted that you take your time to actually comment direct us correct us uh inspire us tell us about more more about your country we don't take it for granted guys and therefore i take this chance to thank you so 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 much we appreciate you guys today i will start on a sad note i am very very down very very sad actually today i'm going to start with the news of our nation uh, there is something very very nice i'm going to shoot about jamaica but i have decided to sh to start with the news of our nation because today is the day we were all on the streets to demonstrate against the financial bill most of us went to the towns that are near them to go and tell the government and all the members of parliament that we are not happy with this bill that we reject the bill we don't like the way they are dictating things we don't like the way they are taxing us taxing diapers taxing sanitary towels taxing even medicine too too bad and therefore we went to the streets everyone almost everyone but the young people were many and it happened that those that went to cbd narobi center town center the police were waiting for them so that they can prevent them from entering parliament building and the protesters were protesting peace free and the police started using force and it happened that the protesters were heading to parliament because the second reading of the bill was taking place in the parliament and when the young people uh, started forcing themselves to go to the parliament unfortunately the police started shooting them and killing them so far i don't know how many have died but i am very very sad please guys pray for our nation pray for us we have always sung about independence we have always sung about freedom we have always sung about growing our countries we cannot grow when things are forced into the common man when the common man is being oppressed i don't know whether this uh, bill must go through under whichever circumstances because it is, looks like there is a lot of pressure on the government maybe because of the loans they have borrowed and i'm not ashamed to say that maybe they have borrowed loans and the people who have actually given them loans are pressurizing them telling them that this bill must go through and everybody if you look at the at tv stations of kenya you will see every town there were demonstrations even in the background where our president comes from there were demonstrations and it is so so sad it is saddens my heart to see innocent young men and women being shot dead because they are standing for their rights they are studying against oppression they are studying against a government that is not caring about its people it was so so bad and therefore kindly pray for us we always tell you we bring positivity but today i've started on a bad note because it was so sad to see young men lying dead on the parliament buildings because the police shot them to kill them so that they don't enter the parliament building it is very very sad and therefore we send you to pray for us pray for peace to prevail in our nation 
pray that the government may listen to people because majority of the people don't want this bill to go through. But strike, it is being forced through our throats. So, so unfortunate. That put aside, <laughs> guys, let me talk about Jamaica. And I have to change because Jamaica is a country that makes us to smile. Even when you are feeling so sad, even when you are feeling so down, when I mission about this rad, my heart comes back to happiness and to joy. Because I'm, um, I know I'm talking about one of us, people who struggled with the slavery, people who struggled to attain independence. And I'm going to say it here because it's one of the points I'm going to highlight. And now they are liberated. Now they are growing their nation. Now we can see the prosperity of the land of Jamaica. So today I wanted to highlight the unusual fun facts about Jamaica, the unique things about Jamaica, the things that are embraced even outside Jamaican boundaries. People appreciate that these people have these things that are so unique, that are so fun and facts. And one of the facts is that Jamaica is known for abundance of flora and especially its beautiful Jamaican orchards. Jamaica has very, very beautiful orchards and by the way these orchards some of them are indigenous and it is said that these orchards have more than 200 species Spe is it the right one species species is it species yeah and uh, out of those 200 73 are indigenous you can see how beautiful jamaica is and not even that. I always tell you, this is a country I can talk about each and every day and I will not exhaust the exciting things, the funny things, the new things, the wonderful things, the beauty of Jamaica. We cannot exhaust talking about Jamaica. There is someone who came to the comment section and told me to talk about Kenya. Yes, we talk about Kenya, but when we see something good, something we love, something inspiring, something motivating us, something bringing us back to life, we have to talk about it. And this is what Jamaica does to us. We feel that we can reach that level. We can reach where they are through hard work, through resilience, through patience, through struggles. We can reach where they are. And therefore, that is why I'm not ashamed to pro proclaim that Jamaica is unique. It has some fun facts that I'm going to mention today. So the other fun fact about Jamaica is that they have the biggest butterfly in the world. <laughs> Maybe the Jamaican in the house can tell us the name of this butterfly. And I was so inspired. I was so excited. Actually, when I was reading this, I was laughing that Jamaicans have the largest butterfly in the whole world. And that is why, because of this uniqueness of Jamaica, people want to go to Jamaica, people want to visit Jamaica once in their lifetime. By the way, that person who was telling me to talk about, uh, not to talk about uh, Jamaica, he was actually telling me, why don't you fly and come to Jamaica instead of talking about Jamaica online? And I really told him, I wish I can. I wish I can fly. I wish it is that easy. I would be there right now. The other thing that I saw about Jamaica, which is actually unique, is that Jamaica has got some snakes, eight types of snakes, and they are not poisonous. Imagine, eight types of snakes, and they are not poisonous. I've told you Jamaica has the largest butterfly in the whole world and the beautiful orchards I've talked about. And on top of that, it has eight types of snakes and they are not poisonous. So you cannot fear that you uh, you'll encounter a snake that is going to bite you and uh, poison you because those snakes are not poisonous. The other thing that I learned about Jamaica is that in 1988, Jamaica was the first ever tropical country to enter the Winter Olympics. 
the other day I talked about the athletics and Jamaica the beautiful pageant and Jamaica but now we have come to learn that in 1988 Jamaica was the first ever tropical country to enter the winter Olympics you see Jamaica by the way I always say that is a small island an island we cannot even imagine it can all have all this to be admired it can have all this to actually make it be top there in the world but Jamaica has conquered the small population conquered the small island conquered many big nations to actually appear there in the world the other thing that I learned about Jamaica is that Jamaica is the home to one of the largest butterfly I've said that in the world it has one of the largest butterfly in the fact or unique character or unique fact about Jamaica is that it is the home for one of the largest writer in the whole world his name is Ian Fleming and it is said he wrote his first actually by the way he works for the British Navy intelligence and this author wrote all 14 of his famous books in Jamaica and later the first movie based on his books was made in Jamaica so Jamaica is the home of the largest author in the whole world and this author is Ian Fleming he works for the British Navy and it is said that he wrote his 14 famous books while he was in Jamaica and on top of that he acted a movie based on his books in Jamaica don't you see this is a country to be admired it is a small country and yet it is producing great people great minds great great creativity that is what I wanted to use the other day I mentioned about the learned people of Jamaica people that are appearing in diaspora countries and holding very big positions in diaspora and by the way I was told uh, by somebody in the comment section that the vice president of USA has Jamaican blood. I want you to confirm that if you know that is for true. Somebody came in the comment section and told me that the vice president of the United States of America is actually a Jamaican. So apart from that, Jamaica is known for abundance flora. I had said that especially and beautiful Jamaican orchards that is what I started with it has beautiful orchards and therefore it has unique unique things that the other countries do not have and that is why every day we celebrate Jamaica there are so many visitors flocking to go to Jamaica to see these great wonders of Jamaica great wonders of the world we all love and you may ask yourself Jamaica is a small country it is actually a very very small island and yet we have people flocking to go and visit this island this is because Jamaica has some uniqueness that no other country has we have already mentioned about the largest butterfly we have already mentioned about the largest author we have already mentioned about great things about Jamaica I have mentioned them and now the list is not address we have other uh, unique characters that Jamaica I was telling you also Jamaica is known as the, as the land for plentiful supply it has plenty of food plenty of fruits plenty of meat varieties of meat I have told you before and initially it was called Zemasa is it Zemasa or Zemaika Yes, the, the marker. That is what the people who are there in the island, who started living in the island, were calling it the Taino people. And this uh, actually means the land of wood and water. Because Jamaica has a lot of forests, it has a lot of rivers, it has a lot of seas, it has a lot of water. By the way, guys, we have seen it. Cola Smith and his team, they go on the riverbeds cook on the seabeds 
cook and they show us how beautiful Jamaican rivers and uh, fall, waterfalls and the beaches are. We have seen Kino. Kino and the dream team the other day, they were in a river swimming, having fun, uh, getting to know each other uh, and enjoying themselves and cooking at the same time and enjoying the wonderful climate of Jamaica. So Jamaica was called Zamaka because of the fact that it's a land of plenty supply. It is a land full of water, a land full of wood, a land full of fertile soils, and therefore there is high produce in the island of Jamaica. Also, Jamaica ha, was the first one to have water and electricity. Imagine, guys, did you know that Jamaica had water and electricity before even the United States of America? Even before the United States of America had water and electricity, Jamaica had. Do you see where Jamaica would be now? If it had water and electricity, in other words, they were this developed. Even before the United States knew where water would come from, where electricity would come from, Jamaica had. Can you see why this island is so famous? That is why the island is so famous. It was the first British colony to establish its own postal surfaces. <laughs> and you tell me we are not going to talk about Jamaica. We will talk in the morning, we will talk in the mid-morning, we will talk in the evening, we will talk every day. Oh my God. And when I am talking about them, I feel that Africans, one day, we are going to reach there. So Jamaica, imagine, it saw water and electricity before USA. It had the first postal surfaces in the whole British colony. It was the first Caribbean country to start a railway line. It was the first Caribbean country to start the railway line. Can you see how unique Jamaica is? And you tell us not to talk about them? You are joking. Every day I see something wonderful, something new, something exciting about this island. And therefore we cannot cease talking about them. We cannot stop talking about them. We can talk day in, day out, 365 days in a year without exhausting the wonderful things about Jamaica. So we have seen it was the first Caribbean country to start the railway station. And uh, that is not, as if that is not enough, Jamaica is the home for the pirates. We saw that the pirates arrived in the city of Ochorio. I don't know whether it was Ochorio. I'm not very sure. And they were doing trade there before the hurricanes and before earthquake so that it can be destroyed there were a lot of pirates and there was a lot of business there was a lot of activities and we saw that it was called the city of the sea something like that because of what was happening because we know when money is out business is good everything is going well ah things come to the ground and there is so much that happens so that city was being called the city of the sea because of so many things that were happening, prostitution, uh, there were a lot of things that were happening in that city. So the pirates, it was home for the pirates. It, is the, it speaks a special language called Patwa. Patwa is a very, very special, beautiful language and it is only spoken in Jamaica and I think Trinidad and Tobago I don't know whether it is spoken in any other island, but I heard it is spoken in Trinidad and Tobago. I don't know whether they speak Creos, because in Haiti, I saw that they speak Creos, but Jamaicans speak, speak Patwa, and I think Patwa is also spoken in Trinidad and Tobago. You are going to confirm that. It is the first speak, it speaks very special language called Patwa, we have said that. The red stripe beer brewed in Jamaica has its origin from U.S. So, that beer called the red stripe beer, actually it is the one I was trying to remember when I was talking about lamb. So, the red stripe beer, which is brewed in Jamaica, it's what? It's what? 
it's a formula or rather the way to prepare it or the recipe to prepare it came from us you can see how much jamaican can be creative they borrow from other countries and they do it exceptionally well because that beer is on top and therefore we celebrate jamaica we celebrate you because when we celebrate you today we know even as tomorrow we will be somewhere we celebrate you like our brothers and sisters and we appreciate where you are going we appreciate where you have come from we appreciate your goals your vision your mission and we know the sky is the limit for you we will keep on clapping for you every day until even us we reach there and people clap for you so we will, for us people clap for us so we'll continue clapping for you until the time we will reach where you are and other people will come and clap for us so we really appreciate jamaica we are really happy about what is happening in jamaica and we really love seeing the beauty of that island now the other part of the video i wanted to talk about uh the mango there is this lady uh called them kalo and the other day i saw her just imitating the mango uh the current video that the mango put where they had gone with the kino uh to a certain river and they were cooking and they were having fun and they were having a good time and therefore in the democo title he wrote she wrote he is here but i'm not feeling it and this girl came to the social media to actually imitate her mocking her saying that the mango was saying i'm here and i'm not feeling him he's here and i'm not feeling him and he started telling us the husband is there and he, she's not feeling him you know sometimes people i don't know how they want others to behave i don't know why, why they want others to actually think like them talk like them behave like them and do everything like them that is not possible because all of us we are uniquely created we are unique in our own way we are unique in our own style because we were brought up in different background we were born in different background we were socialized in different background and therefore I'm Carol you cannot expect people to talk like you even you there are people who see you talking badly there are people who cannot tolerate you the way you laugh for nothing the way you do those things you do there are people who cannot tolerate you because of your jealousy there are people who cannot tolerate you because of your hatred there are people who cannot tell, who cannot tolerate you because of the things that you do but we don't come there and imitate you we don't come there and mock you we don't come there and abuse you so kindly respect others so that you can be respected. So the mango putting that heading there, every one of us, including you, you put headings to make people watch your video. And therefore, the mango shooting there is not about how they are feeling like you interpreted it. It's just a title. You interpret things in a negative way. It looks so bad. And therefore shut that up don't do that it's not worth and therefore i think that lady will end my video for today until we meet again tomorrow same time uh same place we are going to bring to you contents tomorrow see you tomorrow and god bless please subscribe if you have not like our videos share comment we will love that very very much we salute you and god bless so the other unique character about jamaica out of the five fastest men known in the world four comes from jamaica out of the five fastest men four come from jamaica we have all mentioned about them we have mentioned about usain bolt we have mentioned about uh, who yeah, we have mentioned about several Jamaican athletes. So, out of five fastest, world fastest athletes, four come from Jamaica men. That is the men category. And out of ten fastest women in the world, four are Jamaicans. You can see that these people have to put Jamaica on the map there because of their talent. 
talent is actually celebrated in Jamaica. And I think I shot a video saying the people of Jamaica support talent. They support their musicians. They support the people who participate in uh, athletics. They support the people who compete in a uh, Miss World pageant. And therefore, these people feel that they have the background support, the home support. And that is why they work so hard until they make Jamaica shine in the world up there. And therefore, we cannot stop wondering why is Jamaica known? Why do people actually love Jamaica and they want to go to Jamaica? Because of these unique characteristics. Because of the people supporting what is on the ground. Even if we talk about these orchards and there are no people to take care of them, there are no people to ensure that these orchards are beautiful, then we are not going to know that. So it means that the people of Jamaica have really worked hard to make us know this country in a big way. The other thing is that it is the first Caribbean country to get independent from the British colonial masters in 1962. It is the largest English-speaking country in the Caribbean. So we have seen that Jamaica, most of the people in Jamaica, by the way, they speak English. Although there is Patwa, most of the people, Jamaicans, actually speak English. Only a few speak Patwa because we saw that Patwa is actually a common language borrowed from the Taino people and uh, came all through to be the language used in Jamaica. But we have seen that amongst the Caribbeans, Jamaican is the largest English speaking country and it is also the first Caribbean country to attain independence from the British rule. It has the most number per square mile, it has the most number of bus per square mile. It has a lot of bus. Bus are where, what can I say? Where people go and take alcohol. So Jamaica has a lot of bus because remember, Jamaica has one of the most expensive beer and the most tasty beer, which is lamb. And also they have the other beer that they call what stripper something and therefore it has a lot of bars that surround the, the, the Jamaican island and they have the most expensive lamb in the whole world I've said that their beer is very very expensive they call it the lamb it is the pioneer of musical ability and creativity we have always said Jamaicans are creative, Jamaicans are, are hardworking, Jamaicans are resilient, Jamaicans don't give up, they don't give up until they attain their goal. And therefore, they are known to be the pioneers of the musical ability and creativity. There are so many types of music found in Jamaica, starting with reggae. And therefore, there is also the fusion coming from uh, West Africa and Jamaica. So they have a lot of traditional music. And that is why most people want to go there to see the culture, to see the music, to see the beautiful beaches, to see the beautiful waterfalls, to see the rainforests, to see the rivers and so on. And to see all that. They are the top consumer of berries. They are the top consumer of cranberries. Though these berries do not come from, from their country, they consume a large amount of the berries which they import from other countries. And these berries are also used to make their beer, lamb. And therefore, they are the greatest consumer of the berries. They don't grow them, yeah, they don't grow them, but they consume a lot, a lot, a lot of them. Jamaica is also known for the latest, best, and most expensive coffee. We have talked about Jamaican coffee that comes from the Blue Mountains. And therefore, they have the most expensive coffee. And this coffee is grown on the hills of Jamaica. The, the what? What can we say? The highest points of the island. And because of the height or the altitude, the coffee is very, very sweet. Though that height makes it slightly impossible to harvest it, to harvest it 
but because of the height of it, it is very, very sweet. Did you know also that Jamaica, all of it, all that I read, it's like it is a mountain. The minute you enter Jamaica, it's like you are climbing a mountain. It is on a high ground, the whole island. And Jamaica is very, very productive with a lot of fertile cell. And we saw that there is a group that comes from the diaspora that, is, that want to enhance the farming activities in Jamaica. So you can see that the productivity of Jamaica is on the top notch. And they have the best food. Actually, uh, rated second in the world. And therefore, if you want to visit a country, guys, you have to look at the climatic conditions of that country, of which Jamaica is warm, and it is sunny, and therefore it has a conducive climate for people to go and visit. Number two, it has good food. And all of us, we look at where will we go to eat? What kind of food are we going to eat? And therefore Jamaica has the best type of food. It has variety of fruits from all over the island. It has so many fruits and variety of them. And therefore people visiting Jamaica cannot lack something to eat. They cannot be short of fruits. And therefore, most people would prefer to go where they can get food easily and also different types of fruits. And Jamaica is one of them. They have a variety of fruits. Their food is rated second in the whole world. They have a lot of meat, by the way. Chicken, goat, uh, beef, fish. And actually their fish are of different types. And therefore, when you visit this island, you are spoiled for choice when it comes to meat. And that is what I am raving about Jamaica. Because when I go there, I cannot wonder what am I going to eat. Am I going to eat uh, some meat that I don't know where it has come from? Because Jamaicans have variety of meat. That